Hey everybody, I just wanted to come at you guys with a video on how to relocate. People have been asking me this um, time and time again, maybe because I move around, I don't know, but I've, you know, I've lived in Milwaukee where I was born and raised. And then of course I relocated to um, St. Louis and then I moved from St. Louis back to Milwaukee, then from Milwaukee finally here to Houston, Texas, which I love by the way. I'm a Houstonian now, um, so I love that. Yay! Um, but anywho, I'll tell you guys what I did and what I recommend. And um, some people ask me how to relocate, just plain and simple. And other people ask me how to relocate on a budget. And I'll tell you both ways as best as I can. Okay, so it's kind of out of order because as you can say, I don't have anything written down. Hands are empty. Nothing's written down. So I'll just tell you off of memory. Um, first thing that you want to do when you're getting ready to relocate is simply just do your research. You need to research where you want to move to, what areas, what are the neighborhoods like, the suburbs, the school districts, all of those things. Don't forget um, to look for jobs. That's first and foremost important. After you find the area that you want to move to, you need to make sure that you're looking, um, okay, like I said, look for the area and look for work because if you get there and you have no way to survive, meaning money, you will be basically screwed, okay? So you need to find some way to make money or some source of income, whether that be, you know, I would not recommend a hustle, but if you have a hustle, do that or look for your type of work that you're doing or maybe it's a job transfer or whatever the situation, okay? Um, my next recommendation would be, um, my hair keeps getting in my mouth. Anywho, <laughs> sorry. My next recommendation would be to consider the odds. If you get state assistance or any type of aid like that, do consider those things because those are the things that you're going to also need to look into when you move. Not saying that you're going to plan on living off those things because it's not a second job, welfare and those things, no. But if you do receive type that type of aid and you know you'll need that when you do move, you might want to consider um looking into those things when you get ready to uh, relocate. So when you move to Houston or you move to Atlanta, you might want to consider looking up, you know, the welfare or the food stamps or the child care and all those different types of things. So that way you won't be lost and totally confused. Get your ducks in a row before you move. Now, um, I would advise this. Um, start saving eat a little bit from your check. You know, relocation is not cheap by any means. It's very expensive. So do plan on um, at least it's going to be a, mine was around 10 almost. It was the upwards of 10,000. So about $11,000 to relocate. It's not a cheap thing. So if you are looking to relocate for a lesser cost, I would recommend this. One, move during tax season. If you get a big tax return, like some of us do, um, if you get a hefty tax return, move around that time. But still, if your relocation is going to be more than you'd expect to have back from taxes, then you still do need to save um, a good amount um, from each of your paychecks or whatever source of income you have each month. Save, you know, $200 a check or $200 every month, whatever you can afford to do five hundred dollars here a thousand there 100 whatever you can do save a little bit each time that way you can have more to put towards your you know your mortgage or your if you pay rent security deposit you can have more to put towards those things um, and then also you don't want to be stressed uh, when you move so like I say the research is important having the finances is important um, if you don't have kids and you just want to pack up and go pack your bag I've, I've known a couple people even here in Houston that just pack up their cars and they drive if you're that dedicated and you want the change that bad you can make it happen believe that because you can achieve that it's just that easy um, so you're looking up jobs, you're doing your research. Those are two important things that are pertinent to the relocation. Um, hmm. Oh, easy. Making friends, social, uh, socializing. So that way you're not just the homebody person that's extremely bored. When you get to the new place, you're sitting there like, ain't nothing to do. It's boring. Ugh. So to keep away from that, all you have to do, um, there's many, many sites. They have, you know, Facebook. They have, you can join social clubs by going to different places. They have meetup.com, which is wonderful. Um, you can join many YouTube groups that also meet up in person. I mean, it's the sky's the limit as far as socializing. As long as, as long as you're not socially awkward, you'll be perfectly fine when you get to relocate. Um, my video just did something funny. I don't know if y'all could have saw that. Hmm. 
But anyway, my video did something funny. It like skipped. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I'll be able to see it when I watch it back. Maybe I need to move in slow motion. <laughs> but anyhow, um, if you have any other questions or anything else that you'd like to know, definitely reach out to me. I'm more than willing to be of assistance to anyone who has any questions. Um, you guys have any questions, you can either comment on the video, you can like it, you can inbox, whatever you need to do. Um, because I know this is kind of broad and kind of, kind of vague. Um, but again, just ask me, feel free. Um, I'm Hollywood Diva, a.k.a. Miss Bay. If you have any other questions, hit your girl up. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.